low there, I have to share with you this product that I got at Costco a couple of days ago. Uh, today will be the third time I've used it. Uh, it is called Miracle Skin Transformer. And they do have a website, uh, Miracle, I don't have my glasses on so I can't see it, but I'll shoot a picture of it and I'll show it to you in close up, MiracleSkinTransformer.com, I think it is. Let me tell you why I bought this. It's an SPF 40. It says it looks just like skin. It was $23.99 at Costco and I bought two of them. I bought light and medium. They have Why did I buy two when I couldn't even try it? I used to work at Costco when I was selling blenders so I know that I could return anything. Um, and I know that Costco carries really, really good stuff. So I figured something that was selling for $23.99 at Costco was probably selling for $40 anyplace else. I haven't looked yet, so I don't, don't quote me on that. But I wanted to try it because it's at Costco right now. And it said it looks like skin and it has an SPF 40. And, you know, that matters to me. So it comes like this. I'm acting like I haven't opened it and tried it already, but I have. So it comes with its own brush. I bought the two shades because I know in wintertime I'm pale, in summertime I'm medium, and then in spring and fall I mix the two. So I figured I would use it, and if I absolutely hated it, I'd just return it. I don't absolutely hate it. I do really really like it an awful lot. So let me show it to you and you can decide for yourself if this is something you might want to run out to Costco and get or like I said they have this website I looked up, but I'll give you as much information as I possibly can. You can see I am not working with an optimum canvas today. That's great for testing this out. We're going to see how much coverage it has or it doesn't have. It does not have a lot of coverage. I don't want it to have a lot of coverage. I want a daytime exterior foundation. I want to wear, I want a foundation that I could wear on a hiking date. And my date is not going to see me looking all made up and artificial. I want to just improve on everything, but not hide it. I used this the other day. I use just the light. I'm already a little too dark for just the light. But I'm going to show it to you so you can see what just the light looks like. So here, just a glob on my hand. That is the light color. And let's show you what it looks like on the face. Yes, I have my wonderful hormonal breakout that I get once a month. Isn't that a lovely treat? This one right here was from wearing my glasses. Yes, I now keep a bottle of alcohol next to my desk to spritz and clean off my glasses, but Sometimes wearing them, just rubbing, makes a difference. But yes, I do clean them. Uh, where should I start? Where should I start? Ooh, the pressure. Let's go right here on this pimple so you can see it. You can see the color is just a little too light for me at this point. That is what the light looks like. Now let's show you what the medium looks like. Go on the same spot, but on the other side. You can see it's a lot yellower, but it blends in nicely. And you can see that's gonna be a really good color match in a few weeks. It's a touch too dark right now, but not a lot of coverage, but it's buildable. We can build that. So I can get more coverage when I want to. Now, I think it's best if I mix a little of these two together. So here is a little more light. And 
a little more medium. And I'm going with about a 70-30 split right now that will change and adapt throughout the next few weeks. So let me stir those together. It has a nice clean smell. It smells almost citrusy. Not citrus flower, but the citrus itself. Maybe a little bit of lavender. does come with the brush. I'm not sure I love the brush. I think I'd probably just as soon go in with my fingers. But I'm still learning it. Now it is buildable. I think we're going to go for a heavier coverage to see what it does. But you can see in a nice sheer layer, it really does it looks nice. It doesn't look too makeup-y. Let's get a little more here. This. Stir that together. I'm going to take my concealer brush just because it's smaller. And build that up on those little spots. A lot of people have asked how I like the LED face mask. I am still using it. I still love it. I find that when these hormonal breakouts come up, it does shorten them quite a bit. So this is not concealer. This is still just the foundation. Just want to see how much we can build it. I think if you want to cover up imperfections, you're going to want a heavier concealer on those. But I like the finish on this very much. I can't quite see that side very well. That needs to be blended better. You know what? I'm going to just cover the whole lid because it's sunscreen and I have to walk to my mailbox. And you know, I'll still have sunglasses on, but you know.
And there you have it, a foundation that looks like skin, not like a heavy makeup. Now I know, you want me to keep going. I will. But I thought I'd show you that. Let's get a little blush on. Uh, this is Wet n Wild. I thought I'd try this. Um, yikes, where's my thing? There's my thing. Kiss Me If You Can is the color. Wet n Wild, Kiss Me If You Can. This is supposed to be both a cheek and a lip color. That's a good look. How about I just leave it like that? What do you think? Hmm? I know it's very pink. I'm not used to using cream foundations, but I wanted to try it. I'm going to add a little concealer under the eyes. Though I think if I were doing an actual, if I were going on an actual date, I don't think I would. If I were going on an actual like outside hiking date. No, let's make this realistic. Let's pretend that we're going on an outside hiking date. Because that could happen. I don't know how, because I'm, don't meet anyone inside my apartment, but we can imagine that it would happen. Um, okay, no concealer under the eyes. I want the lightest powder that I have. The lightest powder that I own is the Neutrogena Shine Control. It is their rice powder, and I have it as a compact. My eyes, I'm just going to use a Palladio pencil in blue jean. This is a soft blue gray. Um, not really for any reason other than I picked it up and I haven't played with it yet. And well, I should before I actually go out and do something. It's, you know, when you're walking in the mailbox, that's a really good day to do experimental makeup because really nobody's gonna see you but the guy at the mailbox place and I'm not looking to impress him. A little creasing on the lid there, so I know don't use it as an eyeshadow primer. Let's get a little powder on there. I don't know that that's going to be a favorite eyeshadow eye, eyeliner color, but it's nice for a change. I'm going to use this more when I'm going for a definite makeup look rather than a natural look uh, because it's got that little bit of a blue to it, but it's fine for today. Eyebrows. I love, here are my two favorite eyebrow pencils. And the reason I have both of them with me today is a lot of people, every time I use this one, everyone tells me that this one is a dupe for it. It is not a dupe for it. This is a gray color. This is a taupe color. This is Anastasia Brow Wiz in granite. This is NYX Micro Brow in taupe. NYX does have a gray eyebrow pencil, but it is not in the micro brow. It is in the much thicker eyebrow pencil, so not the same. And I know nobody believes me if I don't prove things, so. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in granite. This is the NYX Micro Brow in taupe.
doesn't apply quite as well. I had to do a few stripes to get as much pigment, but you can see, gosh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I have no idea if you can see that. That was a very bad angle. But you can see, they're quite different from one another. They're both fine. They're both acceptable, but they're not the same. Uh, this is much grayer, but it's a little darker. This has got a little bit more brown to it, but it's a lighter shade. So, probably if I were like a good makeup artist, or an actual makeup artist, I'd use both on my brows very carefully in tiny little strokes to get to perfectly mimic the hairs, but ain't nobody got time for that. I slap the stuff on, you know it. So, what do I want today? I'm gonna do the Anastasia, because it's my favorite. It's also a lot more expensive. That might be why it's my favorite. Yeah, I know you probably couldn't see any of that. You'll see this one. Of course, I never do this brow as well. Sorry. This brow really has started growing in again since I started taking those hair vitamins and it's, I haven't plucked it yet, so I'm not really sure what to do. I'm, it's, it's a little different shape than I'm used to. It's like right there, it's starting to grow in, which I love and I'm gonna let it grow in. I would love for my brows to be a little thicker than they are. I did this movie in the 90s. It ended up being called Strip Show, which was a stupid title. It's a good movie. But we had me, I was like this rocker chick with long, curly, dark brown hair and dark brown eyes and a big biker jacket and big boots and lots of attitude. Um, and we plucked my eyebrows really high and thin to get that rocker chick look. And well, they just never really did come back after that, 1994. This is the Mineral Fusion Lip Butter in Honeysuckle. Actually, I'm gonna um, use a lip pencil. This is a L'Oreal Le Matte Infallible. I'm just gonna do a little, little lining with this. And now the Mineral Fusion Lip Butter in Honeysuckle. And just a little bit of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline that I picked up a while ago because it's in a green container and I like the color green. I didn't say I bought all my makeup with really sound reasons. There's my summertime, springtime, no makeup makeup with a lot of sunscreen with this new foundation that I got that you may or may not be able to get unless you have a Costco membership. So I know those of you who don't are hating me right now, but I will try to give you as much information as I possibly can. And now let's get to the fun part. I know, one of the things you all wanna know is why is her chest always red? Well, her chest is always red because 
she wasn't as good about sunscreen in her youth as she should have been and it is now permanently red so whenever i go out i have to cover it up now i am very good about sunscreen on my chest but it is a little red all the time so that is a question that i get asked a lot i get asked there are some questions i get asked all the time 51 years old that's another question i get asked all the time so i am going to do a video answering all of your favorite questions so this is it on this video right here drop comments ask me all of your burning questions ask me anything i will answer pretty much anything unless it is sort of like you know somebody else's business then i won't but in my own business i don't care um ask away drop your comments down below ask me all of your burning questions any of the things that you've been dying to know dying to ask me and i will have a video for you very soon where i answer all of those burning questions that you have like why is her chest red all the time and how long are you going to grow your hair you can see my hair's baby fine if i get it right to here i'll be super happy so there's a couple three of the most popular questions i get asked but i know you got a bunch more and i know you got some really really top secret burning questions that you're just dying to ask so go ahead ask away thank you for watching please subscribe drop your comments and questions down below and i love you bunches and i will talk to you very soon